Hi guys, I hope you're all doing alright. So today I'm here with a makeup haul. This is mainly a drugstore makeup haul, but there are a couple of bits from Stila as well, although I did pick them up from TK Maxx, so it's kind of a drugstore anyway. So I have quite a few more things than I actually thought I did, so I'm gonna get straight on into it, and I only have like 20 minutes to film this, so I've gotta be really quick, so I need to stop blabbing on, yeah, getting onto with it, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So I'm gonna start off with TK Maxx, and the first thing isn't actually a makeup thing, really, it's makeup related, and it's this lipstick holder, which has half of my lipsticks in. So it was, I think, seven pound maybe six something like that but i've wanted a lipstick holder forever and i can't seem to find them anywhere in the uk like everywhere i look there's never any and this one is just perfect and it's pretty good quality uh it says hotel bell four and it can hold i think wait eight sixteen twenty four lipsticks so yeah, I can fit 24 lipsticks in here and I just really, really like this. Also from TK Maxx, I managed to find these two little sets from Stila. I don't have the boxes that they came in. Basically, I think they were for Christmas last year in the US and TK Maxx had them. They were not used. The boxes were a little bit battered, which I guess is why they were in there, but the products were unused, which is a good thing. And I managed to get quite a few different things. First of all, each box had two of the Stila lip glazes, and I've been wanting to try these for ever so i was really happy that they had these in and i have the shades majesty grapefruit apricot and gleam so they're just these colors right here and i don't know how i feel about these yet i need to like try them out a bit more they're nice like they feel nice they look nice they're not super duper pigmented um and you don't have to twist them a really long time until the product actually comes up i've only used two of them so far but I'm really excited to give these more of a try and see what I actually think of them because I have been wanting to try these out for a while. One of the boxes also came with the Stila Convertible Colour Dual Lip and Cheek Cream in the shade Magnolia. So this is just a lip and cheek cream and it's in this like darkish brownish kind of colour which doesn't really work well on my cheeks because I'm so fair but I have been using it a little bit on my lips. Um, I'm not someone who really goes for like brownie kind of colours on my lips. I prefer more pinks or reds or purples or anything like that. Um, but I'm happy to give this a go and it's a good product. It's not incredible but it's a good product and I have been wanting to try it for a while. I probably would have liked it more if it was a colour that I wear more so that's probably the only problem with it to be fair but I'm still happy I got it. One of the boxes also came with the Stila eyeshadow in the shade Kitten. So this is just a lovely, like champagne-y, shimmery colour, and it is absolutely gorgeous. You won't be able to see it probably. No, I don't think you can. Um, but I absolutely love this. This is a type of shade that I would wear a lot, and it's a really, really nice sheen I guess it gives a nice finish it's really just oh it's so nice <laughs> I do really really like this I'm not wearing these kind of colors at the moment but definitely in like spring and summer these are the kind of colors that I like to pull out and they're just good as well to put over your eyeshadow for a little bit of shimmer and I really really like this and it's pretty pigmented so that's pretty good huh. the final thing that I got from Stila was one of their smudge sticks so this is in the shade Lionfish and it's just like a dark metallic shimmery brown colour and it's super super nice but being the curious person I am I like to see how much product is in every single like eyeliner or lip crayon so I twist them all the way up. Some of you have probably owned these before are probably thinking why did you do that? that's the worst mistake you've ever made in your life and it probably is because it doesn't twist down so yeah I'm kind of just stuck with a little bit at the end but I did break it off and I've just finished my soap and glory brow archery so I stuck the rest of the product into here so it fits perfectly actually if anyone's wondering how much you get in a smudge stick there you go that's how much you get don't twist it up yourself because you'll you'll be feeling the regret that I'm feeling right now 
and it doesn't feel good but <laughs> it still works fine in here I'm just sad because I want to use it in this and I can't because I've been stupid and I'm never going to do that again or I'm going to research if I can for every single product that I buy because uh, regardless of that it's an amazing product it's so pigmented so creamy it's got just the right amount of like shimmer in it it stays on really really well it doesn't budge it's so so good i would recommend these so much just don't twist them all the way up so that's all that i got from Stila from tk maxx i also picked up a few things from boots and the first thing is the bourgeois healthy mix serum foundation this is my favorite foundation at the moment it's the one that i'm wearing right now and I get the shade Light Vanilla, which I think is the lightest shade, I'm not sure. Um, but this is just a really nice, dewy, glowy foundation. It's slightly yellow, which I don't know if that's the best for my skin, but I don't care because it looks fine. Um, and it's really good for dry skin as well because I do have dry and somewhat flaky skin. I also picked up one of the Maybelline Fit Me Concealers. I've used it quite a bit since I got it, so it's all like rubbed off. But this is just a perfect concealer for under eyes and I also use it on the driest parts of my face which are generally my nose and my forehead. Soap and Glory were also having two for three so I wanted to buy the Soap and Glory Archery. This is different from the other one that I had before. It's instead of having the pen and the like other pen, the like brush end that you actually use to draw on your eye yeah so this one instead has like one of the brushes that you use to brush through your brows and then it has a little pen end at the end to fill in your brows I don't know if I like this one as much as the other one the pen end is a little thinner and it's a little darker and slightly harder to work with than the other one but I found with the other one that the kind of brush end the brush with the pen in it that end it dried out really really quickly and it just made the £10 that it costs not really worth it. Um, this is £2 cheaper and I only need to use one side and I've used it today so let me know what you think. It makes my brows look very very bold I think but <laughs> let me know what you think. And as it was two for three I picked up two of their gloss sticks, the Sexy Mother Pucker gloss sticks. Um, these actually retail for, is it 2 50 or 3 50 I don't know. They're super cheap either way, but they're like little ones. They used to be a lot larger than this and they've shrunk them, which I don't mind because I didn't want to spend a lot of money on makeup at that point. So I just wanted to get whatever was cheapest and I was so glad these were in there because I've been wanting to try these forever. So I got these shades Purple Rain and Pinkaboo. So I actually am wearing pinkaboo today i only did like one layer but you can definitely kind of build it up if you really want to and i like the littleness of them because you can just like carry them around which is beneficial if you've only got a little bag i also grabbed one of the l'oreal collection exclusive colorish lipsticks and this is eva's pink i've mentioned this in my favorites video because i've had this for a while um but i haven't shown it in a haul and it just looks like this it's a super super gorgeous pink it's one of my favorite lipsticks at the moment even though i tend to like darker colors in autumn i'm liking lighter colors right now so i'm absolutely obsessed with this it's got such amazing pigmentation such amazing color payoff and it's such a beautiful pink color i think it's probably one of my favorite pinks that i own i love the packaging of these and i just love the whole collection i also went and picked up the tanya burr issue of glamour and with that came a little clinique sample they either had two different lipsticks a mascara or a hand cream was it i'm not sure um but i'm always for the lip products and whenever i went to look they never had any so <laughs> when my mom went shopping i was like can you see if they've got the lip products with the magazines the only one if they've got the lip products and she managed to find it with the red lipstick so this is in the shade cherry pop and it's just a straight up red color it is gorgeous though i haven't used it yet because it just looks so nice like i don't want to ruin it and it's so little as well like it's such a good little carry around little 
lipstick. So the final thing that I have to show you is also Tanya Burr related. It's from her Tanya Burr Cosmetics line and it is the Christmas Advent Calendar. And I've actually never tried anything from her beauty range so I really wanted to try this because you can obviously just get so many different things in one thing and it was £15 instead of £25 and I also had £2 of super drop points that I used on this as well so I got this for £13 which I think is amazing and I can't wait to use this in December. I'm going to do the first 12 days of December, you can do it however you want but I'm doing the first 12 days and it comes with, what does it come with? Two nail polishes, two sets of lashes with adhesive, two eye shimmer pots, three lip glosses, two nail files and one mirror. So I'm really excited to try these and actually give her range a go because even after like a year of it being out I've never tried anything yet. So and I just love how cute this looks. Look how cute that looks. That's so cute. How many times have I just said cute? So many times but it's so cute. So that was my little makeup haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did remember to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe and share it if you want. So I better be going because I'm heading off shopping today I need to do a bit of Christmas shopping so I am going to go now so I hope you guys also have an incredible day and I'll see you on my next video bye guys Becca C asks what's the best thing about being on YouTube in your opinion to me definitely this last week or two I would say interacting with you guys before I had a lot of subscribers